To do the best repair, we want to make sure to follow a process as we're coming in to do the infrared repairs. So let's hear it from Mackie Sweater at Heat Design. He's the guy that manufactures the machines to be able to do this. And you also own a business that actually does infrared repair. Walk us through the process, Matt. The yeah, first thing you want to do when you get to site is identify the areas you're going to be repair. Block off the areas, pile on them off so you can safely work. Once you've done that, you're going to identify those areas, repair uh, or cl and clean the areas of any contaminants. Use your wire brush, broom, your leaf blower to get rid of all those loose contaminants. That's uh, it's going to hinder your heating process, so it's important to get rid of the, all that debris. After that, you're going to uh, place your template or just mark off your areas, whatever you choose to use, uh, and identify where that heater is going to sit. After that, you place your heater over top of your your repair area. You're going to heat that for roughly 10 to 12 minutes. That, we operate on a high-low basis. Uh, I mentioned earlier the benefit of our system is we're running on high-low. We run on high pressure for about five to six minutes and low pressure for five to six minutes. That's going to allow you to get proper penetration without burning that asphalt. After you have heat the required depth, roughly inch and a half to two inches, you're going to remove the heater. You're going to picture frame it with your ice scraper to make a nice clean cut. And then you're going to rework that entire area of the asphalt, exposing all the aggregate. Once that's done, you then will take your rejuvenator, spray it, uh, spray your rejuvenator onto the, the asphalt, mix it, spray it one more time just to make sure you get one, enough coverage prior to placing your hot mix. Once you got your hot mix to grade, you're going to level that with your lute, you're going to clean up your edges, and then you're going to compact the, the asphalt. Most important step is getting those edges compacted first. That's going to get you a watertight patch, so the water's not going to penetrate into those edges, causing further deterioration of the patch. After those edges are patched or compacted, you're going to compact the entire patch. Set, once you're satisfied with the compaction, leave it, pile on it off. You're going to leave it for up to two hours. You can let light traffic drive on it but after about 20, 30 minutes, but in order to maintain the structure of the patch, you wanna leave it off, off to traffic for about two hours. While you're compacting that first patch, you're gonna move your heater over to your second patch and continually move on. And that's how you get uh, increase your productivity. You're constantly moving that heater, having that heater run while you're compacting the asphalt. That's awesome, man. So let me understand this. If we follow that process to a T, we'll have lasting results which means we're ultimately building lifelong accounts because they'll be satisfied with the patch that you've essentially done, correct? Correct, just like a recipe. Follow the recipe, you're gonna be successful. Yep. Great stuff. Thank you so much, Matt. Thanks for walking through the process, man. Appreciate it. Thank you.